Okay, I gotta film a video and it's really important. So our cuddle session, can we just wait a little bit? I know, I know, I know. Listen, it's about AI. I know, I know, okay. <laughs> Hey friends, welcome back to my video. Today we are going to dive into the top five areas that AI is going to revolutionize our world. No mugs, you are not, you are not included in this video, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Okay, but before we do anything, we always need to look back at our past to learn where we are going, learn from our mistakes, hopefully and also see how AI and technology has evolved. Now, that's not to say, or at all actually, that where we came from, where AI came from, we, not meaning we came from AI, but meaning how it has evolved is not where it is going to go in the future. That is stating the obvious, but there it is important to have an understanding, at least a foundation as to where AI has evolved to, to this point, to really understand the history of it in order to move forward educated on it. Now, I'm not going to take you back all the way to the 50s where AI really started to evolve or there were the first kind of talks of AI. I'm gonna actually just take us back to 2010. In 2010, we can really think of some breakthroughs that have happened such as deep learning and neural networks. They propelled AI to really new heights. Think about AI systems like IBM's Watson that triumphed on the game show Jeopardy. While Google's DeepMind really astonished the world when it came to mastering the ancient game of Go. At the time, these breakthroughs were were mind blowing. Today, we wouldn't think anything of them, but at the time they were kind of scary for us, kind of like how we're feeling now with everything going on in AI. It was around this time too, that virtual assistants really started to pop up. Think Siri, Alexa, and also to the talk around self-driving cars, which at the time felt light years away still. It was around 2010 when AI really started to find its way into our daily lives. I recently came across a lecture that was done by a professor at Northwestern University, and I found it fascinating how honestly raw and honest this individual was speaking about AI and honestly about it taking over jobs. And I'm including it in this video. I thought I would share a bit of quotes that this person said, mainly because it really affects the way we think of how AI will impact our future world and jobs and the loss of jobs is definitely a major area. All right, I have my computer here. Let me read to you what he says. The bottom 90%, especially the bottom 50% of the world in terms of income or education will be badly hurt with job displacement. The simple question to ask is how routine is a job? And that is how likely it is that it will be replaced by AI. Because AI can, within the routine task, learn to optimize itself. And the more quantitative, the more objective the job is, separating things into bins, washing dishes, picking fruits, answering customer service calls, those are very much scripted tasks that are repetitive and routine in nature. In the matter of five, 10, or 15 years, they will be displaced by AI. Now this isn't a fear-mongering video where I'm saying everyone better freak out and run because of AI, but it is interesting and important to educate ourselves on these things from these experts in the AI world who are saying this because it's easy to put your head down kind of a rabbit hole and say, oh, this doesn't exist or this isn't going to happen. They're just trying to fear monger us. But the reality is this is the reality. It's coming from experts. They're not here to scare you. They're here to state facts. They're professors. They're basing their information on data and research. And why is this important to us? Okay, I gotta put my computer down. This is important to us because when we think about how the world will change in the next five years, 10 years even, and then we think about the five major trends that AI will impact on the world, the displacement of jobs will be one of them. Now, the interesting thing is, even if you are not someone whose job will be impacted per se, I think all jobs will be impacted by AI to some degree, even if it's just using them as a tool, the interesting thing is where are all these people going to go and how does that impact people's jobs who are not necessarily affected by AI? For example, if there are millions and millions of people who are losing their jobs to AI, what jobs are they going to do? Well, some of them will level up and they will go back to school or online learning and they will start interviewing for maybe jobs that you are in and the others, maybe they will be creators finding new jobs, starting new companies. But at the end of the day, even if it doesn't directly impact you or your job, in some adverse way, it will, which is very interesting to think about. Next on the list is personalization, personalized user experience. As we already see now, everyone wants everything to be personalized and custom to them. We've seen this through apps like Uber, having so many choices to choose from to, what other apps are there? 
to Netflix showing a wide array, wide variety of shows that are best custom and personalized to you. AI, as it continues to get smarter and work closely with independent people, whether your AI assistant's working with you at home, what will happen is it will continue to get to know you and your human traits and behaviors. Also to your preferences, what to recommend to you, what to personalize for you. And this can be done through real-time user behavior analysis. So AI-driven systems that will be able to constantly monitor and analyze users' interactions with devices, apps, and platforms. By understanding all of this user behavior, it will be able to really customize things for you. It will understand how you like to take your coffee in the morning, what shows you like. And it's kind of scary when you really start thinking about how much AI will know about us. But when you think about the flip side of how much I can help you in your daily lives, think about your workflow even. For example, for developers, think of it from the standpoint of you're using AI to help you code and it knows your flaws in coding, where you can improve, what your natural habits are when you're coding and can kind of adjust accordingly. That's pretty mind blowing when you really start thinking of it. These AI tools we already use in our coding practices or in our daily lives, but imagine being so custom that it specifically knows how you type, what you are coding, the way you code, basically the way you think and helping adjust based on that. Once again, I know these are uncomfortable to really think about because it feels kind of invasive, but it's definitely the direction we are heading in. So we either have to embrace it, but also at the same time as embracing it, question it, understand where this is going. Actually on the note of personalization, in context to the tech industry, a study by Evergage found that 88% of marketers reported seeing measurable improvements in their business due to personalization with more than half of it seeing a lift greater than 10% in key performance metrics. So what does this really mean? It really demonstrates the need and value for personalization in different products. And we as technical individuals working in tech or just passionate about tech need to understand the value in personalization and how AI can really impact that. Another area that I am really excited to see, one of the main areas I would say I'm really excited to see how AI will impact our future is transportation. We have been speaking for years now about the idea of driverless cars and there's many that are happening, many accidents that are happening because of it, but it still brings up the question or the point, which is super fascinating to me, which is how this will really evolve and change our ways of transportation. Now, naturally, when we think AI and transportation, our mind goes straight to driverless cars that I just mentioned. So these are cars that we are already seeing technology that is already being evolved, but we need to think past that. What I'm talking about is also to let's think about logistics and freight. AI will revolutionize the logistics and freight industry by optimizing supply chain operations, route planning, and also to delivery schedules. Going back to its teaching itself and learning data recognition, pattern recognition, it will understand understand what is the best way or the best route for freight trafficking for freight trafficking. Is that what it is? Freight transportation. You know what I'm saying? Also too, when we think warehouse management right now, this is done to a scale with AI and there's still a human kind of navigating it and understanding what's available and where different containers can go. But as AI gets smarter, it can recommend to us humans the best way to manage these crates or where to store, how to store them, the best kind of pattern. It's really interesting when you start thinking of transportation past just driverless cars. Also to a way we see AI used already, which will continue to be enhanced is intelligent traffic management. So AI driven traffic management systems that will optimize traffic flow in real time, understanding where it is busy, how to direct traffic better. If there's no one at the stop stoplight, then maybe if there's no one at the green light, but everyone's waiting at the red light, then understanding when to flex on that. It's pretty interesting to think that as we continue to advance it with AI, our literal lives will be in the hands of it with our modes of transportation. I think I'm just coming to that realization now. That's kind of wild. Next on the list is data analysts and decision making processes and how they will be automated thanks to AI. I actually made a video recently covering how data analysts and data scientists will continue to be in demand in the future, even with AI. And I got so many comments from you all being like, Tiff, 
data analyst, how is that gonna be in demand with AI? And I think the answer is it will evolve, okay? Okay, it's trying to predict the future is hard. Give me a break here. But no, this is something that is obvious. We are already seeing how AI will really impact the world with the amount of knowledge we will have around data analysts and data analysis and decision-making based on those. And AI will be able to provide so many uh, more stats and points to us. I actually, let me see if I can put it up on screen here. I recently came across this AI tool where up until this point, if typically a business person wanted to see what was going on in the data, they would need to know SQL or ask a developer. Now with this tool, you can plug it into your database and a business individual can say how many sales came from whatever it is or any kind of query they can just ask as a normal question and it will return different graphs and charts for you uh, and explain it to them. Hmm, what was it called? Let me see if I can put it up on screen here. Point of it being though, is this data and this information will be able to be explained to the average person, not saying business people are average, I love you business people, but the average person in such a more simpler way that they will be able to really educate themselves on decisions based on this data. And this will really impact how businesses are run, how business decisions or product decisions are made. And not only will this be for past data, it will also be real-time decision support and also predictive analytics and forecasting. With AI being much smarter than humans in many areas, not all, one thing that it will be able to do is leverage its capabilities in machine learning and also recognizing patterns. It will allow for businesses to build predictive models that forecast future trends and events with increasing accuracy. Pretty crazy. We can't tell the future. AI can't really tell the future, but it's the closest thing that can. This video would not be complete if I did not talk about software development and how this is a major industry that AI will really revolutionize across our world. Now, when I thought of the five main areas where AI will revolutionize our world, it's really hard. I stuck with more, of course, tech-related areas. We could talk big topics like healthcare, finance, um, home security, automation in many areas of our lives. There are so many different areas that will have a huge impact on our lives. I really kept this video more to more tech-related things, hence Tiffin Tech, that's why you're here. And that's one thing I just wanted to note, that yes, there are many areas, so don't leave in the comments, Tiff, these might not be the top five. They're subjective, and we're focusing on tech here, okay? Now back to software development. We have seen just how quickly since the release of ChatGPT, I mean, even for myself anyways, I have all of a sudden started to build faster, more efficiently by using tools like ChatGPT or Genie, which is another AI tool extension that I really love for VS Code. There are so many options out there and the reality is if you want to use these, they're at your fingertips and you can build really quickly with them. Now I'm not saying they're perfect, but it definitely is revolutionizing the way we code, whether it's here today that you are using it as well, it's going to change the way we code. And if you're someone who's hesitant or nervous saying no tip, we're not there yet, ask ChatGPT to build you an application or a website and it will do it in seconds. The reality is though, it's not perfect. You still need to understand code. You still need, to, if you're working on enterprise level software, you're not going to be using a lot of these AI tools because they're not going to be allowed. And even if they are allowed, you still really need to understand code. You're still building your own code. It's more like a coding assistant. One area though that I've really seen helpful when it comes to these tools with software development is having your tests write it or wrote, written, your tests automated for you essentially. That is an area that no one really likes to do manually is writing tests. It's so important, but yet we often fail to do it till it's too late. And this is something that will make the whole process then faster when you think about bugs introduced in the code, there'll be less of them because these tests will catch them. When you think about QA's role, it will still be very important, but it will evolve as well. Also too, when I think of how AI will really change software development, one thing I think we don't speak about enough is how it will be used to our benefit to learn faster. I use AI all the time to explain very technical topics to me in a simple way that I can understand. When I make ChatGPT or other tools of AI work for me and say, you know, explain it to me like a software engineer who's a child or whatever the case is, depending on what I'm learning, 
It really helps me understand these technical concepts that probably would have taken me a long time to understand otherwise. Which is very interesting and kind of uncomfortable to be honest with you because you think, well, are we going to lose that thought process then that gets us to learning these technical things? Is that all a benefit? That is something I think we will see come out with data over the years. But I'm not saying this should be your sole way of learning moving forward, but it's a great tool to really help you learn quickly and also build quickly. I know for me, another area that with software development, the use of AI has really come into play is creativity. I feel like to make, say, games with Python and Pygame or different tools like that used to take so long that I would rarely do it because it'd be like, okay, it's gonna take me quite a few hours. I know I'll introduce bugs and it'll be a whole thing. Now with, say, ChatGPT, I recently just coded the game Pong and I input what I wanted ChatGPT to build for me. I put it into REPL and, or you could do VS Code, whatever you want. I did REPL because I wanted to share it. And I altered the code a bit. It was still important to understand what was going on and it built this really cool game. So my creativity has definitely skyrocketed since AI has been coming alongside working closely with software developers. Okay friends, those are my five ways. AI is going to revolutionize the world, specifically more so in the tech industry, but honestly, as a whole. It's really exciting. I know I've been making a lot of videos around future tech and AI, but it's so exciting to me how quickly it's evolving and getting to think about where this will take us, where our careers will go with this and how we can be a part of this. So once again, look at it as a positive that we can grow and build with. Question everything. I'm not saying just take everything as a positive and all of that, but grow with it, continue to grow and build your skills and not just AI, wherever you are focused in and you naturally will continue to evolve in your career. A lot of times I get the tip, I'm so scared that I'm never gonna have a job anymore because of AI. I feel you, I feel you every new day, every day I feel like I find a new AI tool which is terrifying and exciting and cool and all these mixed emotions. But at the end of the day, just we're all in this together. Let's go on this ride and continue to explore. On that note, leave down below any video topics you want me to cover, questions you have, any of the above. I do my absolute best to answer every single one of your questions, comments, you know, the whole drill.